What is up guys, Amusement Dark here, and today I'm going to be talking about Danganronpa 3, Mirai Hen, episode 12. What is the finale? It's not really the finale. It turns out that Hope side is going to be the true, like, finishing up, tying everything with a bow. It's not going to be an OVA, sadly. It, it doesn't really matter, I guess, because, you know, it just means we got one more episode of Danganronpa goodness to go. And that's honestly fine, because the more, the better, right? Can never really complain for more. Yeah. Anyway, so this is gonna be a lot shorter than normal, because I'm really busy at the moment. I don't know about Thursdays, but I'm trying to get myself on ban on PlayStation and some other shit. But, whatever. So, yeah. Today's episode, well, yesterday's episode was pretty good. I mean, not the best, not the worst. It was, um, I mean, let's just start off with the beginning. The first bits we see is, uh, Chisa giving Tengen the, uh, two videos that, uh, the, the despair video that brainwashed everyone into, uh, thinking like Junko. And the suicide video, aka uh, Monokuma's Gloomy Sunday. You know, the one they use in the killing game. Jisa gave both of those to Ke Tengen, and then, you know, when he's looking away after he says, I'll ha like, I'll look after these, she, uh, she's like with a sad face and then despair eyes and a smile, and it's just like, ugh, so creepy. You know, Jisa, they really. Her character's been changed a lot since the beginning, because at the beginning, obviously, we didn't know anything about her being in despair and all that. It's just like, damn, I feel sorry for Munakata and Chisa, you know? Anyway, the next thing we see that I want to talk about, because most of this episode was, um, two things. It was, uh, the talk between Mitarai, uh, Naigi and Asahina, and then the talk between about like what's up with Tengen's dying message and why he made this game happen, um, like with uh, Munakata and Asahina, Naigi obviously is who I'm referring to as he, but um, yeah, so. No, it was ten again. What am I on about? I'm I'm tired, okay? Don't don't question stupid things I say. But no. So Nike uh, you know, that's the main things that happen is the f when we uh, after what would normally be the opening, but we don't have the opening is um the is where we left off last episode with a uh, Mitarai gang a message from Tengen. This message seems to be an automatic message that just gets sent when uh, the game is over. And that means Tengen is the master way to sell it all up. Um, sorry I'm tired as I said before, but you know, it was, he was the one that decided to start this entire thing. He, uh, used the videos, or at least the suicide one, and we have no idea how, what he did with the Monokuma thing, but the whole point of this killing game was to get Mitarai to do what his forbidden action was, what was to use his talent, what is apparently now brainwashing people with animations. Or just screams because there's nothing and that's just like a typical imagery thing it's like what no I could believe the gloomy Sunday video could maybe you know if it was actually like in that world I yeah I can believe that this no it's just like -da 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 -da, and then like some flashing white ass uh, I forget the word I'm looking for it's like what but anyway, Mitarai's decided that he's gonna broadcast this to the world to get rid of despair, but that's brainwashing people. And Nike is like, no, we can, we don't, 
despair is kind of what makes you human, as somewhat what they say in this episode. But you know, you need to feel all the feels, you know, to be human. Or you're Izuru Kamakura. <laughs> that, that's basically it. So, you know. Uh, but Mitarai isn't listening. He goes and brainwashes Asahina to, like, um, restrict uh, Naegi's movement, I guess is the best way to pull it. Um, she does it. And then, you know, he goes off on his way. Then Munakata finds him, helps him out. And then, um, you know, they talk about why Tengen decided to do this, and that's because he wanted to push Mitarai to use the video. Mitarai, well, at least what they think, we can't ask Tengen himself, obviously, was a meant, not meant to be in the killing game. He was a meant to be in the... He was meant to just watch and hear about the incident. And that should have been enough to push him to use the hope video. But and but he decided to, he was there when it you know they all got like gassed. Bay. Yeah. Sorry, by Tengen. And uh Yeah. What else is there? Um the there's the title. It, it's like, it is always darkest, and then, you know, immediately I and uh, I think it was Salone, because I'm in the, their live reactions, uh, it was like, before Hope, or, well, she said Kubo Hen, but, uh, yeah, so, yeah, the only other really things I want to talk about is, um, Asahina's dead. I'm pretty sure Asahina's dead, like, in the Hope episode. That Naegi is probably gonna ask Togami or uh, Hagakure, because they come to save him from a uh, brainwashed Future Foundation soldiers. Like, you know, Hagakure just kind of runs in and he's like, What are you doing to Naikichi? Or whatever the fuck he says. And, you know, he's just, he immediately runs into one, and then he's encircled by him, and then he's like, I give up! Seriously, I give up! Like, god damn it, Hagakure. I wouldn't want you to die anymore if you at least saved Naegi from those soldiers, but I knew that wasn't happening. The second I saw him, I was like, are you really gonna try this? You're gonna fail. But no. Then Togami saves the day with his secret service or whatever the fuck they are. I, I don't honestly fucking know. But you know, they are, or I guess they'd just be his personal force. Like, or his elite sort of guard. I, I don't know what to call them. They're very secret service y to me, so I'm just gonna say secret service or some shit. But you know, he uh, gets them to all restrained. And he's like, hey, Niagara, you look awful. Are you sure you got good luck? This isn't the after credits, because there's not really much to talk about this episode for me. Like, there's the whole, um, chat between, you know, Munakata and Naegi about, um, why the killing game's actually for hope, but it's not really, because you, sh you can't really feel hope if you can't ever feel, like, bad feelings, like sadness, anger, anger and all that. And it's, um, it's just like, okay, okay, I see. But, you know, it's a lot of interesting conversations, really. That's, that's about all that happened. And Asahina got shot in the leg, and then uh, was like, yo, ditch me. You gotta stop the world from being died in this fake hope, basically. And, like, she's still twitching, but, you know, Nagi's just like, eh, I'll show her, I'll, I'll do it. But, you know, so, uh, I feel like, and we see soldiers then come in while she's on the ground. She's probably dead. That's, that's all I'm gonna say on the matter, is she's probably dead. Uh, I guess I can use the rest of this just to talk about my opinions and stuff on how this is going. One, mm, I was really hoping that Hope side would just be... Uh, OVA like special type thing because 
I just wanted it to be a fucking OVA special. Like, you know, just to have some good end sort of something fresh off from all the despair and death and just everything that's happened in this anime. I just wanted to, like, you know, you can bring back the dead characters, you know, and then just have a Wallace scenario, you know, kind of like Dangan Island and stuff. But that didn't happen, so it, it doesn't matter too much, I guess, in the end. But, it's more, yeah. So, um, what else is that? I mean, we, we finally saw um, Izuru slash Hajime, whoever he is, we're not sure still if it actually affected him. The only lines we've ever had from him is Izuru's catchphrase was, how boring. And, yeah. But no, that was definitely Izuru that stole the uh, boat, obviously. And, um, I'm not sure if the other survivors of DR2 are there who woke up with him, because apparently the others woke up with him. I'm not sure, because I haven't beaten the game myself yet, and that's what I'm gonna probably be working on when I have some free time, unless I'm working on a video. But, uh, yeah, there's not much else to talk about. I'm sorry if this mic quality is really bad, really good. I, I, I don't know yet, because... I haven't listened to it, and this is the first time trying out this headset. There's not much else other than, uh... Um... Why did Mitterai put a count down to 30, for 30 minutes? Like, what is this, YouTube? No, guy, you're trying to... You're giving yourself time to be stopped, you know? If I was him, I wouldn't put a count down for 30 minutes. I'd maybe put a count down for 30 seconds. Like, you know, or just like a minute, just so it has, like, the broadcasting system has some time to, you know, get ready to jack all the airwaves, because I'm presuming that's what they're doing, is that he's gonna jack all the airwaves to broadcast the, you know, video. The hope video. What, what if he accidentally broadcasted the despair video, the suicide video, and just. <laughs> Everyone's dead. That, that I'd find that funny. There was some cool, um, you know, cause pe for some reason people were freaking out about it, but, you know, this is him kind of just a mad, like he's talking about in half an hour, we've got this. The world will be rid of despair, and it's showing, like, characters, you know, and obviously it's gonna do a much bigger impact if we show some characters that we actually care about, like Kamaru and Toka. Coco, and, um, and then, and then uh, Monica, you know, showed the Ultra Despair girls characters, well, not not the kids, but because they, and I think only one of them got a couple of voice lines, or two of them, not all of them talked, I'm pretty sure about that though, but yeah, you know, so she, like, it's funny, because, you know, she's floating in space while it's happening, so it's just funny. But no, other than that, there's not much to really say. I'm trying to think. I mean, there's no real theories I can come up with. I mean, I'm presuming Naegi and Izuru slash Hajime are gonna meet each other at the beginning of the episode. And I guess Togami and Hagakure, if they don't go over to help Munakata and Asahina, who's probably dead. You know? I'm, I'm thinking the only deaths we might have, if we have any, are Asahina's. And maybe Mitterai's if, he, if it is Izuru, and Izuru's a bit, you know... I wanna kill somebody, you know, like, it's... it's he could do it, it's Izuru, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. But, no. That's about it, that's my only real predictions, um... I mean, we know the Hope logo has both Naegi and... Uh, Hajime Izuru pointing. So now we just have to wait until um, Thursday to find out what's only like a day or two. So yeah, I hope you guys are ready for the finale, the true finale. Sorry for titling Zetsubohan as the finale. I like, yeah, this is the finale for Zetsubohan. <laughs> 
But yeah, we also get a nice continued to uh, hope side thing at the end. We also get a death theater. I should probably mention that. We find out that, yeah, people that died can go to that theater and I guess watch what's currently happening in the world and stuff. Because that's Chisa, because Chisa and Junko were there. And then Chisa's like, our future ends here, but now hope begins. And it's like, oh my god. God damn that line. That, that, that was a nice line. It's a bit weird hearing it from Despairy McDespair Chisa. I don't know why I said that, but yeah. Anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed this shorter review. There's not too much to give. To say about it uh, just because it was a lot of dialogue and I don't really talk too much about dialogue and it's probably gonna be the same with hope side but um when coming to a close of Danganronpa 3 and with this episode I, I liked it a lot I'm gonna say an 8.5 out of 10 for this episode it was pretty good I mean you know we get to find out about the mastermind and that but, um, I don't know, it's it kind of, I really wanted Hope to just be an OVA so I couldn't see, so the final episode could have fucking Kirigiri alive. That's, that's the main reason, to be honest, but, hey, it's whatever, am I right? Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I'm signing out. Peace.